Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be creating a look with a new palette by Mill Thompson and Sydney Grace. And this is a collab. This was just released a couple of days ago. And um, it is beautiful. So I uh, couldn't wait to get it in my hands. I actually got it yesterday, but I wasn't able to film yesterday. I had a really bad headache. So I decided to go ahead and do this today. Um, this looks gorgeous. The uh, actual packaging was created by Mel and uh, the actual painting or drawing was done by her tattoo artist. And Mel loves all kinds of little bugs. So this is why it's called Tiny, Tiny Marvels because these are the little things that she loves. And a lot of these uh, shades and uh, little bugs, if you want to call them, she does have them you know, throughout her tattoos. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Mel Thompson and you know that she has some beautiful tattoos through her entire body and a lot of them are um, here in this palette. So this is of course by, like I said, Sydney Grace. This is the packaging of the actual palette, which is gorgeous. I really do love it. In the back you get the ingredients of the eyeshadows. You do have a nice mirror and then these are the shades and the palette which are gorgeous and they'll have some really pretty names um i'm starting on the top this one is called web tree hopper fire butts walking stick scarab flutterby bb one oh mantis meadowhawk love bug jewel bee marvel death moth bugaboo and spider so I just can't wait to create a look. I was trying, going to try to do a two look video today, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I'm not gonna have the time. So I'm gonna start with this color right here on my crease. And let me take the plastic off this palette and I'm gonna move you guys closer so that you can see what I'm doing better. All right, so we're gonna get started now. Um, this is, <laughs> A new wig that I just got in today and I'm not sure how I feel about it yet um, sometimes when it's something new that you're not used to you know if you put it if you put your makeup on and get all ready and then put it on uh, you kind of like it more than if you put it on before you're completely made up so I'm gonna see what's mine now so it's just different because I'm usually more bangs and this one doesn't have any bangs so I think that's why I feel a little different with it. I do like the shade. I do like the loose curls. I think it's pretty, um, you know, and I mean, this was just out of the box and I shook it and played with it with my fingers and I think it looks pretty good. I have to color my, my own hair so that everything looks, I feel like it's so dark. Hold on a second. Let me turn on my light a little brighter hold on yeah, i think that's a little brighter now um i'm doing this at night and i normally have some daylight when i film during the day so and i don't film at night very often this is very pretty um this is a uh, love bug that i'm using and uh, it is matte and it's like a lavender and all i have on my eyes is the um the eye primer by Gerard Cosmetics. And my dad is home for your listening pleasure. This is such a pretty palette. Oh my gosh. It's funny because um, I didn't even know they were releasing this until I saw Mel's um, video that she did talking about the palette. And I thought it had already sold out. I went to the website and it said not available. So I thought, oh no, it's sold out. I didn't even realize that it wasn't even, that was like the day before it was released. I think it was released last Friday. All right, so now I am going to go to this um, darker shade right here that is called Bugaboo. Oh, 
I do want to use the green. You know, I love greens like this one, but they look so funny on my eyes. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to use that one today because for some reason, that shade, as beautiful as it is, as a dual chrome, I just think it looks funny on my eyes for some reason. I have it in other palettes, shades similar to that one, and it just doesn't do anything for me. I'm just, I'm just putting this like on the, uh, on the outer, what, one third or a little more than one third. Okay, I'm going to take this that is called Mantis, this green one. I'm going to get a flat shader brush. I'm going to use this one right here. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. That is green. For sure. Okay, I'm going to take the brush that I used before for the, uh, the purple one. I'm going to go with a little bit of the purple. Kind of just blend them in together. That is really, really pretty. Wow, that is green. Okay. Do the same thing with the with this purple one. That is really, really pretty. Really pretty green. I don't know if it's a little too bright for me, but I don't care. Okay, I'm gonna take the other side of the brush and I'm gonna go into this one right here that is called Fire Butts. And I'm gonna go on the inner part of my eye. gosh you guys look at this this is just dipping a little bit you don't even have to wet these shadows look at that oh my gosh that is amazing okay this is out of my comfort zone for sure this is the brush that has the purple okay i'm just going to take this is where the matte uh, green was on the other side and kind of just mix both greens together That is gorgeous. Okay, for my lower lash line, I'm gonna get a pencil brush and I'm going to take this one right here, the Bugaboo. And I'm going to take a little bit of the green and put it right here in the middle. Kind of copying what I have on the top. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that fire butts. Okay, I'm going to get a more precise brush, this one right here, and I'm going to go into the Bugaboo and see if I can make this a little darker. Okay, 
Okay, I am going to put some mascara on. I'm going to use the, uh, what is this? Bambi Eyes on my top lashes and the Maybelline uh, Lash Discovery on my lower lashes because it is uh, waterproof and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So this is with um, the mascara. So tell me what you think about the wig. I like it. I just, I think I just have to get used to not having bangs, but I definitely like the loose curls. I like the way it looks on the side. I think it's pretty. I like the shade because it's my hair color. You hear some swatches of, I only swatch the, the ones that has some shimmer. They're gorgeous. I love this palette. I mean, this look is really something that is out of my comfort zone. Um, over here doesn't look like it's very blended. I mean, it's very, very easy to put together. As you can, you know, you saw how quickly I was able to create this. So it's very easy to use, for sure. It's beautiful. I'm messing it up now because I'm trying to mess with it. Hi, Clara. Why don't you just leave it alone? But it is a really, really pretty palette. Um, I think I'm going to create, make another video with it. Do three looks with one palette. I really would love to do that. I think there's so much that you can do with this palette. I mean, the purples are gorgeous. Look at this. That is beautiful. There's so many different ways that you can go. Um, the peach. I mean, you name it. These colors are just gorgeous. Look at that. So, so pigmented. So I really would love to, I think I want to create a three looks, one palette with this one. Um, but something like that is something that takes me, it's going to take me like three days because I'm, I, I hate putting on makeup, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off, putting it on. I like playing with makeup, but like one day at a time. So, um, but I really do like it. I think this is a beautiful palette. So what I have on the rest of my face, Natasha Denona, and it's still active. They're having a buy one, get one uh, with their um, foundations. And I got this one that is, what is it called? Transformer. Transform Matte. Okay. Um, Yes, Transform Matte. It's a pore vanishing matte foundation. Now, I didn't find it to be matte. Um, I find it to be more like a semi-matte. My face, as you can see, and I have powder on, it still looks a little glowy. It doesn't look matte. Um, it's very nice. It went on very, very nicely on the, on the, on the skin. It really um, sunk in. It didn't sit, you know how sometimes foundations kind of sit on top of your pores. This one didn't. This one was very easy to chew, um, smooth, and it went right in. It did quite a bit. It's not a thick foundation, but it did a great job of uh, covering a lot of my hyperpigmentation. I uh, got it in mine in a medium because I'm a little darker now, so I decided to get it in a medium. But it's very pretty. doesn't really have a scent, but I liked it. I thought it was really nice. And then the other one that I got is a, a dewy one and this one has no the other one has spf 15. this is in 45n medium neutral and the other one that i have is supposed to be um it has some glow i haven't tried it yet i just got them today and um and it has 15 spf it's made in italy paraben free uh not tested on animals so it has a 12 month shelf life and is 0.94 fluid ounces and they do have all of their foundations buy one get one half off no buy one get one free so i went ahead and i tried it it's the first time i tried her foundations um the powder that i'm using is mac and this is the extra light it's the shade and it's just says mac what is it 
uh, mineral foundation okay and then i am using the natasha denona bloom uh, blush which is very very pretty it's a beautiful coral a little goes a long way the milani um, highlighter and dolce perla and on my lips i am using the bobby brown uh, what are these called this is a smoothie move is the uh, shade and these are the ones that are the uh, crushed liquid lips so it's very they're very very pretty they're very comfy it's like a very pigmented lip gloss and it stays on on your lips for you know a nice amount of time they're very comfy they're beautiful very comfortable i definitely i own quite a few of them and i do recommend them and they do put them on sale quite often actually macy's had them on sale look like for I want to say like half off or something like that. So anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the palette. And um, yeah, I'm so excited that I have it. And I will see you on my next one. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.